What's up, now YouTube? Just want to show y'all how I'm learning how to do all this stuff, and you know, some great information I, I got out of a few books. You know, I did get this book. Uh, it's the revised edition. You see George Reed now. I just want to flip it open. Now, this book, uh, let me give you a couple information about the Coyote, which is a motor I'm looking to work with down the road. But uh, this is the inside of this book. Um, very helpful information. Uh, tells you a lot of different things as far as machine shop work. Uh, what to look for at a machine shop. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's reasonably detailed, um, definitely reasonably detailed, um, tells you a lot about how to put things together, you know, as you see, wear patterns and all that stuff. Um, overall, definitely a good book. Um, you probably will definitely need a second book, which I did, and that book is the Ford workshop manual i got this used um off of ebay and this book right here is a masterpiece because it tells you literally from beginning to end the every aspect of this car every single one they teach you how to repair them what to look for um it gives you a lot it gives you some pictures a lot of detailed information um, I will say these two books alone should get me to where, what I'm trying to do. I mean, honestly, these two books, they tell you everything. It tells you obviously about the grand Marquis, which is, um, for the most part similar. Um, obviously there's going to be, uh, certain differences between the police interceptor versus the standard grand Marquis, which there's only probably one version of it. And the Crown Victoria, which I know they have LX, the Sport, and all that. But for the most part, those are similar. But like I say, there are minor differences in, involved. No no motor differences. Transmissions are the same. It's more or less rear end differences, suspension differences, interior, and all that. So, um, you know, they have the same cam, same head, same... Some come with dual exhaust, some don't. So, like I say, this book, it shows you um, everything. I mean, and engines is basically the part I'm be going for. So, um, just uh, like I say, this is a very interesting project because, like I say, it teaches you everything, what goes where, how does it go. Um, it teaches you where the um, sealant goes. I mean, this is a... If you look, it's a very handy book. I mean, it tells you, this is a Ford book. It tells you all the bolts. So like I said, I'm kind of glad I, I ended up uh, getting this book. I saw another guy build a 5.4. He mentioned uh, getting these books. I mean, they're, they're worth uh, a lot of headaches that you don't have to worry with. So just want to show y'all, you know, this is what I'm going to be assembling uh like i say I, I don't feel comfortable necessarily right now building a short block up myself so that's why i'm having somebody do it you know everything else i mean this book pretty much shows you so i'm just showing y'all it tells you how to put the timing even though uh i plan it to degree everything but like i say it shows you where to put the sealant at in order to prevent leaks. Um, on a previous page, it shows you to put it on the, oh no, actually coming up, it shows you to put it on the crankshaft. Um, you see it right here. On the uh, crankshaft, the cover seal. So it teaches you and gives you um, basically how the factory does it. So when you get a, a new car or a Crown Bic, that you know you don't see any oil anywhere because these are the techniques that they use so this teaches me everything so for right now I feel um, absolutely comfortable uh, going ahead even though I'm putting a uh, plan to put a Victor Jr. on here uh, like I say this is uh, 
very helpful. Um, even though with the Victor Jr., it should be straightforward, you know, simply. Um, I'm probably going to have to get a few plugs and stuff to uh, get that intake to bolt up uh, properly because the Mustangs have different sensors uh, and different sensor placements from the 2004 um, Mustangs to the 2099, well, I believe. They have different uh, connections, so... 2009 Crown Victoria is a little more simpler, more upgraded than the uh, old Mustang. So, like I say, you get this book, you know, it's, it's worth every penny. You know, like I say, you can get it on uh, you, I mean, um, eBay for 50 bucks or so, 60 something dollars. But it's worth it. I mean, it tells you everything. Everything you need to know. Get this book. Or whatever year you have, like I say, and this is also a very helpful tool right here, because this tells you what what to look for in a machine shop, what to look for. Uh, it does give you assembly information also, but this book right here is probably more detailed than this book, even though this book and this book is probably all you need. You know, I'm probably not going to order no more books. Um, I have plenty of videos. You can look up some videos on YouTube. I mean, they're all there. But this and this book right here, very helpful. So, I was just showing y'all, you know. So, any of y'all Crown Vic guys, you know, very passionate about these Vicks. I love my Vicks. So, hey, you know, might as well do it right the first time. Get this book, y'all. If you're doing a Vic, whatever year, they got them. Peace. Bye -bye.